Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Whether you're a first time viewer, a return subscriber, a long time follower, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to williehow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about today is adding VLANs to your Aruba Instant On installation. So Aruba has made a lot of changes in the Instant On product line and it, it, really feels like they're taking a lot of these things seriously and that we're going to have a really good alternative now and if they keep building out this feature set in the future. So one thing I do want to say is they just they did tout how they just added 2FA to the portal. Now I'm going to say this about any vendor. Uh, 2FA, uh, and I push vendors all the time to implement two-factor on their, their web-based platforms. That's one of the first things that should happen. And if it hasn't happened, users should push for that hard. All right, so let's flip over to the Aruba Instant On portal. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And once we get signed in, I have a site created called uh, Space Trash. And uh, I have one network. You can see I have one device added. We're going to go back. We're going to add some APs. We're going to do some setups and things like that. If we go to my device inventory, you can see that I have a device called Voice Switch and that it's active. It is that 1938 GPOE uh, port that I did a video on. You can go uh, look at that. And uh, some of the questions that I got is how, one of the questions I got is how do I add VLANs? So when you're in your portal, um, we can go back to the main uh, site here. So this is, since this is the only site, this is what we see. And uh, if, if I go to networks, what I can do is I can add a network. And what I can do is I can say it's a wireless or wired network. So if I go wired network and I call this voice, I can make this VLAN 2. I can also tag it as the voice network and then click save. I can then add another VLAN. We can call this video and give this VLAN 3 and click save. Now we can do a lot of other things with this network. So some of the options that you have is to set up the different types of network access, the security and the assignment. So by default, you can see um, that these ports on the switch are going to be tagged. It's going to be a tag. Now, uh, this little cloud icon, we'll take a look at this switch too. This little cloud icon means that that is our uplink and it knows that that's the uplink. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And so now these VLANs are available to my switch. So you can see that this it's pretty easy once you figure out how they, they put it together and you figure out how to navigate this. So let's go back over to our switch. It's synchronizing. So it's downloading that information from Aruba. And once, once that happens, th those networks, so Space Trash Site, that's my, my default VLAN. You can see that's untagged on all the ports. Now I can select Voice, and you see Voice is tagged on all the ports. You can see Video is tagged on all the ports. So um, the, uh, the weird thing is I can't, I can't modify this here. I have to go back to the network setup to tag and untag that. So it is, it takes a little bit getting used to how Aruba does this, but yes, you can definitely add VLANs to Aruba switches in the portal. You can add different SSIDs with different VLANs. And so uh, we're gonna keep an eye on this and we're gonna keep testing it. So you're gonna see some more videos coming on this very soon. And let me know what you wanna see on the Aruba Instant On platform. I do have a Wi-Fi 6 AP we're gonna test. Um, along with their other APs that I have. So leave it down in the comments what you want to see us test or sh what you want to see on the setup side of this Aruba gear. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links, those are all down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.